How to Draw Feet by Alexander Rishkin. We start with rough outlines capturing the location of the ankle, the line of the heel, and the line of the toes. We draw all lines straight at this step. We will fine tune their curvatures later. This is a very schematic design to indicate the scale and main proportions of a foot. At the front, where the shin connects to the foot, we can imagine a virtual line, which is parallel to the top plane of the foot. This top plane is an approximation of a curved surface of the foot at the top. This plane is parallel to the virtual line where the toes connect to the foot. The plane of the first two toes is also parallel to the top plane. The cross section where the ankle connects to the foot can resemble an oval or be approximated as a rectangle. The footprint of the heel can be marked as a square. The medial ankle is located on the same level as the top plane of the foot. It is higher than the lateral ankle. From the medial ankle, we can draw a diagonal line pointing to the big toe. The two lines that are going down to the big toe are parallel to each other. The line that goes to the little toe and the line of the heel are also parallel. The same can be said about the line of the first toe. The outline from the plantar side of the foot goes from the heel and points to the little toe. This outline, together with the diagonal line that points to the big toe, forms the figure 8. The line of this figure curves from the heel to the little toe, then circles around the toes, points to the medial ankle, and then bends around the heel. Now we can mark the arch of the foot. This outline points to the big toe. The cross section of the big toe is seen as an oval. This is where the foot rests on the ground. Cross contours of the foot also point to the big toe. The big toe has only two phalanges, while all other toes have three in each. The tendon that bridges the big toe with the heel bone creates an additional volume. 